When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Right, guys, so we're back with part two. So we've kind of looked at our wet, dry, wet rig, which is for just absolute awesome anthemic tones. But we can't afford two IRTs. We've only got one. And we've got our amp, we've got our 412. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna split that signal just stereo. So we've got your head and your cabinet, whatever they may be, powering your left side of your effects. And you've got your IRTX powering the right side of the effect by running out of your right of your pod or your effects pedal of choice into the direct in of your IRTX. And what you then get is a nice clean stereo split. No, you don't, because it hasn't worked. So I've got any effects on there, but that is currently <laughs> no effects, nice and clean. Both of them are in IRTX and your cabinet. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that again. This is just going to be the cabinet. Then I'm going to hit it again. It's just going to be the IRTX. And now both back in. Yeah, just a little bit of reverb on there. So this is what that sounds without any effects in there. Super clean, really massive sounding. Uh, you, it does make everything sound better because it's that FRFR approach to what is normally a cab. So let's throw in a little bit of delay. Well, say a little bit, if you know me. I don't do things by halves. So I'm gonna stick quite a chunk of delay in there. And I also might like a nice rhythmic delay. This is a little bit more than I normally would use just to accentuate what we've got. So this is what that sounds like. So we've got this rhythmic bouncing situation happening. Then if I play that kind of similar kind of airy riff. It's really, really plush sounding. And it's because we're not pushing the cones out all of the time with all of those different delays, my cone is returning, so I'm getting a lot more dynamic as well. And um, so now I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of chorus um, and see how that sounds. And then if you want to go absolutely all over the place, I'm going to throw in some octave, like octave reverb, which is just super 80s and highway to the danger zone. And I'm going to put some distortion on to see how that sounds. So here's with the octoverb on there. So for those ambient kind of tones, you really give yourself a bit more space in your mixes. So let's put a bit of drive on. We'll take those, um, take that reverb off, throw a bit of drive on, KC the Boss, ODX-1, and maybe even a little bit of the Visual Sound XO as well, just for additional gear, why not? And let's play some metal. Now you will experience the full power of the dark side.
much fun. Right, guys, we'll go back to this next time. We're going to be looking at, say you haven't got a 60 watt head. Say so you haven't even got a cabinet. What are you going to do? You're going to use your pod or you're going to use a little 15 watt super head and then um, run through these RTXs. The force is strong. Really?